Hey, how's it going, you guys? So, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a post-game commentary. Uh, I played this game about four days ago, and I played when I was at 10Q, and right now I'm in 9Q. Um, so, basically, like I've, all the games I've done up to now are live commentaries, and I wanted to... I feel like the live commentaries are a little, a little boring at times because I spend a lot of the time like thinking and thinking about my moves and stuff. So with the post game commentary, um, it'll be a lot faster and hopefully, and um, I'll be talking a lot more. <laughs> um, and so I'm gonna try and like analyze the moves and uh, go through like the gameplay. Um, this guy that I played, uh, Mendieta, this is this is my second time playing him. Uh, he's a really cool guy. And uh, after the game, we we reviewed it ourselves. And we kind of like went through and tried to decide like what moves were like the decisive moves of the game that caused like the lose like caused the loser and the winner and stuff. So um, th I actually this is the reviewed game SGF file if that makes sense. So like you'll see you might see our comments that we made while we were reviewing. Um, anyway, so I play black in this game, and uh, the stand this opening very standard. Uh, we all play the four, four, the four, four points, and um, so now uh, I am try and go for his corner. He blocks. This is all very standard. Uh, with this move, I realized um, he he had like this whole left side on lockdown. Like it's going to be very hard to get into that left side, so he basically has it. So like right here, like these gray words, you can see like this is the comment I made while we were reviewing. So I didn't really know what to do next, but I decided I'm gonna go and try and uh, have him over concentrate in the middle or on the left side. So like if I expected him, like if he responds like this, I extend, and now I have the bottom, the top, and he has the left side. So well, things are looking a lot better for Black at this point. Uh, he's it, Black's more well developed, but uh, he realized this, I guess. So he plays down here. Uh, so he tries. So he's basically trying to take stake on the right side. Um, all I wanted to do was connect my uh, my cornerstone to this bottom left area. So this is like all my territory now. I have influence over it. Uh, you can see him comment uh, that I have better development at this point, which is true, I guess. Uh, sorry if it's a little slow. My computer is acting up like it won't respond sometimes when I click. Um, so he goes for the corner. I defend. Uh, he extends out, and I play this move. Uh, this move, the point of this move was to uh, threaten his his influence on this right side so I can play in like if he plays somewhere else like this is where he plays so I could play here or here or something like that uh, let's see so when we were viewing we said maybe this instead of what he played yeah this is his move uh, what this does is like I said earlier is it allows me to do this so I have the top and the bottom while he has the left side and the right side is very weak for him so this is very good for me what ends up happening so we said maybe this would be a better move if he pincered because then I extend um, he extends and then I threaten that stone uh, this is what I expected him to do uh, he doesn't like that very much which is why he played this so I extend and he goes for the corner. Um, this move we decided was not a good move for him. It allowed, like I, like when I play the four four point, I'm always afraid of the three three invasion. Like I hate this move, but in this case, it ends up working out well for me because I'm able to build this uh, uh, giant wall, and he just lets me. So this wall now gives me a lot of uh, influence on the center which I end up using later. Um, so you can see me here comment on the side uh, D17. I think this move is too slow. 
it's worth maybe I don't know like I'm going to say 8 points point is it's not a very not very much uh, this move I think would be better uh, it stops him, it stops me from coming in later and then I take and then you see me take the corner and he defends like that corner isn't isn't very powerful you know and so anyways uh, he or er, here let's see so then he's he's saying that I have this invasion which I extend out he extends out uh, this is the move I played where like I would play if I was him and then he was like well maybe this move is a little stronger and that's true it, it is it looks a little stronger um anyways so so the, this is what we played and I took that opportunity to come into the come into his territory over here Um, so basically with the uh, with this move I'm threatening these two co uh, stones on the corner area so he has to defend those but while he's defending those I have I now took his territory on the right side like this is mine instead of his so now he has this weak group on the right side which I can attack later um, so in the game this is the move he plays uh, I personally I don't know um, I guess it's a good move because it protects his cutting point but I think this move is very important. Uh, I guess it, it, it would probably be better off play later now that I think about it. But that cutting point is like pivotal for him. Uh, this is what I said to protect the cutting point, but he doesn't like that, so he thinks this was better. Probably is a little safer. And now that, instead of what actually happened, which was him playing this I protect uh, this is to protect my area so you can't like reduce or invade later and this is what he played uh, again this is where I think he should I he should play this because I end up uh, th like this move very slow it's worth I don't know four or five points not a lot this move however worth a lot of points because if go if I take the Ascente there and play first, I gain a lot of territory or influence. Uh, this one might also be an okay move to branch out to towards the middle. So I defend my corner. Again, another slow move. So I connect to protect my right side. And this move we think was another really slow one. Like he didn't need to play that. Um, because now I have the opportunity to branch out. So since I played that area first. Now I have the influence on this whole top right side, which is not good for him. Come on. Sorry, my computer's like lagging when I click stuff. It's not going for me. <laughs> so he's trying to defend himself. And then I make this invasion here. But let's see. Hmm. We're thinking this maybe, I guess, to try and like reduce the territory that I can potentially make up there. Um, not sure. We went, we we discussed this area a lot. Uh, these are just some of the variations we showed. But anyways, so I make this like invasion. Uh, this invasion is really is too deep. Uh, it's not. It wasn't a good uh, choice. And I realized after he plays this, like, oh man, I played too deep. Now my objective is just to get out of there. Uh, th and I'm not going to try and like kill his groups or anything like that. I'm just going to try and survive. So I I use this like Atari after Atari to get out of there. And he kind of lets me do it, which is, you know, fine by me. Atari, connect. Oh, whoops, my bad. 